welcome guys to the end of season review and we're going to look at some stuff from season 1 see what interesting things we can find so I think the first thing well, we should probably look at is the league table where we did win the league on 93 points only lost 5 times this season and the 5 hill we lost to was Ryup, North Allerton, Annick, Darling and North Allerton so North Allerton doing the double over us where did they finish? second, fair enough but we did have pretty good form, as you can see towards the end of the season, goal difference, 64. And, oh, oh, goals for, we scored 97 goals, 40 goals more than North Allerton, that's crazy. So, and then against, we conceded 33. It's, uh, it's not the worst, to be honest, if we look at that. Second, more, second least amount of goals conceded. Scored. We scored easily the most. What else can we look at? That's interesting. Best form was actually taller. Um. So let's. What else can we look at? Oh my god. The media predictions. We were predicted to go up first. Oh, were we? No, no. Sorry, we were predicted to finish bottom. Well, <laughs> finish first. So that's pretty good. So let's go back into the screen here. And we'll look at the player stats. Because, let's be honest, some of them were quite impressive. Goals to shot attempts. Chris Thompson was probably the best at that. Uh, best passer was Josh Rummer. Most titles won. Shaquille. Most aerial duels, Robbie Loughton. Most crosses. Right, so now we'll actually look at this stuff. Josh Rummer. 45 goals in a season. That's insane. Highest average written, 7.69. Most assists, Steph Frost, Luke Gibson, and James Kirby, all on 13. Insane again. Best pass completion, Josh Rimmer. Most man of the matches, Josh Rimmer, 11 times. Most yellow cards, Connor Atkinson, 12 yellow cards. Lee Booth, and that one red card. So, we're going to go on... My history, is it? No, no, I want to load up Ace and Colliery. We'll go to History Overview. So now we have one Northern League Division 2 title. First bit of silverware. Competitions. Just assume we won that in 2016. Landmarks. There we go. Division 2 champions. Managers. Uh, there's me. 287 days at the job. One league win. Pretty good record. The next one we'll look at is records. So obviously transfer pay, pay paid. We haven't made any signings, so oh, we haven't. No, we haven't really. Nothing. We haven't had any actual transfers. So this, according to the game, is our best eleven team. And it's no records available yet. That was awkward. Right. What else can we look at facilities? So City Horden, which isn't actually true. Capacity of a 2,000 people stadium, which also isn't true. I've seen the stadium in real life, easily. Stadium condition, poor. I would argue it's not that poor. Uh, grass and like corporate facility, basic. Poor training facilities, basic youth facilities. Hopefully we can get some good sponsors next season and maybe get a little bit more cash flow. Um, general. Key employees, the captain, vice captain. Home aware. I guess I'm going to try to get these done for next se next season. Uh, okay, finances. He loves the club. Value of 18k. Average ticket pie is 6 quid. We have no icons. But however, we do have favourite personnel of Cur uh, Kirby, Rimmer, me, Loughton, Bacon, and Steph Rost, which is fair enough because they've been exceptional this season. Hot prospecting. So the next little tab we'll look at is this one so we reached the qualifying round of the Vs and we oh, we won the first reached the first round no sorry we knocked out the first round by Willington in the Northern League and knocked out the second round by in the Vars by Per Shotown next thing we'll look at is this most of his formation was a 4-4-2 118 clear cut chances nice most successful we were most vulnerable at the first in the four one two three. But 
between the first and fifteenth minute, we scored a hundred and eight goals. That's crazy. Most co oh no, was it? Tw oh no, we scored twenty one out of one hundred and eight goals. It's pretty good. Most common assist type across. Most common assist area left wing. Step. No, it's not Steph Ross's right wing. Um. Most common assist area right wing. Most assist type across. Most type most co goal conceded seventy six ninety. Best attribute first touched. Our worst attribute is aggression, which isn't too bad. Average age of 25, that's good. Play stats. Con Atkinson, form player, 7.7. .7, highest average rating, 7.69 for Josh Rimmer. Top goal scorer, Josh Rimmer, 45 goals. I know we went through all that before. Uh, attendance. Highest attendance of 160, which I think that was last game. That's 4% of our capacity, apparently. And we don't have any philosophies. And the next thing we'll be looking at is ooh, stats, facts. Oh, let's just have a quick look at this. Our uh, youngest player was James Razak. Oldest player was Jason Price. Average age was 26. Shortest player was Akis Grump. Ah, we've got a fullback that's 5 foot 3. We did have our youth intake. Brandon Phillips, who's that? No, oh, God. Might have to start working him into the team. Six foot five centre half. Oh, he's got a damaged tail. Great. Uh, lightest player is Akis again. And then the heaviest player is our centre half on Congo. Well, every player is going to be on next, pretty much. Just on the same thing. So uh, the next highest caps for a country is the Congolese. Domestic player bias, 93%. Things like this are just quite interesting to look at. So average age, we actually have the highest average age. We have the... Uh, hmm. Hebburn had the best finishing in the strikers. Hmm, interesting to know. So the next thing we're going to look at is coaches. So the three coaches we got is me, Lee, and Wayne. That's our fitness coach. Got one scout, Lee, and we got one physio. So that's just for that uh, people to so know that. If we click overview. And we'll go to all. Maybe we'll add some all in names there. Tr tr training itself, like actual physical training. Look at individual, no coaches. And that's how we're doing our coaching right now. I feel like, Wayne, what can you do? Can you do anything else good? Guess strength. Just stay that then. It's his best thing, so. Uh, we'll go to. Well, I don't know about scouting yet. Transfers, we didn't bring any of them in, so. Uh, I think we've already, yep, we've already done that. Saw so the board. I'm quite scared to look at it, but. To summarise, the board feels like you're doing an unbelievable job and you're clearly are putting a smile on the face of the supporter, long may it last. The team's fantastic overall performance has been particular. Feels like he'll never leave the club at his own violation. And then, obviously, is there anything where, oh, it's advised us to get a head of youth development, which I'll look to get next season, a director, which I'm not a big fan of, but I will get. Head physio, fair enough. Scouts, mm, I'll try to do that. So, alright, that's, by the by, we'll check the bit I'm not looking forward to look at. The budgets. So, at some point in the season, we were losing money a lot, but then the board invested to keep the running costs going. So he put some in, lost money, did it again, twice, he did it twice, which is quite rare. But we are going to basically lose money until... We start hitting some cup runs or just something really because football clubs are hard to run at a 
at it breaking even. And if you are doing it successfully, your football is probably not going to be the best. Ooh, travel costs. Didn't look at that. It's quite interesting. This is the first time I really looked at it. Wage. It's stayed there. Mm, not too bad. Debts and loans. We haven't got any. Oh, we got net debt. Fair enough. Sponsors and others. Main kit, we get £703 per year, which is crap. Projection. Best, less said about that, probably the better, if let's be honest. League, I'm going to click that. Northern League Division 2. Just trying to actually click on the league name. Oh no no! I want to look at stats, man. There we go. Most goals, me. Second best form. Second amount of games without lo losing. Oh god! I won three games without conceding. Team detailed. Average possession. We came second. Not too bad. Team with penalties. We only got three penalties this season. Um, attacks. That's the one I want to see. 97 goals. Now, let's do an individual player review now of every player on the team. So, if we click Dean, just so I know, if I click down, does that go to the right back? I don't know what. I don't actually know how that's doing that. Right, so Dean, how's he done? Keep us a old hard to review how well they've done so, but I guess how many games has he played this season? He's played 14 games, considered 7. That's actually not really bad. So, he didn't really get to prove his worth, in my opinion. So, that's kind of what the next guy, who is Ashley Thorpe, who he hasn't actually played that much. Oh, no, he has. Sorry, I don't know why I was thinking that. He's played 25 games at left back. With a 6.95 average rating, 52 tackles, 67% pass rating, and shots on target ratio of 25%, 11 dribbles, 3 yellows. He's done a job at left back, so I can't complain. He's helped us. Mark Cam, he has played 38 games. I'm pretty sure they've all been in that same position. I could check. I just need to remember how you check. Is it that one? Nope. That one? Nope. That one? Nope. That one? I can't remember how you do this. Uh, I think it's... There we go. He's played 40 games at centre-back. Playing his best games. He had one game in centre-mid. That was quite embarrassing how long I took to find that. So we'll just go back to him. He played that stopper role, which was slightly different. Did he get any goals this season? No, he didn't. That's not he, he's not that. That's he's not there to do that though. So five foot seven. You know, that's actually really impressive. Right? Now you think about it. Okay, his uh, many centre back partnership was with well, this one is the Congolese. He's six foot four. That's why I kind of I liked him for solid stats. But he did, he played. 18 games, one as a sub, he got one goal, one yellow, and 49 titles, 6.83. That's not the worst rating, but it's not exactly something you want to shout about. The next player is Tom Batten, who played 7 games starting and 11 subs. He scored one goal, one penalty, one yellow card, 5 dribbles, 26 titles. Another player who... He's been in or in and around the team, and he has played multiple uh, multiple positions. He's played left mid five times, left backs eleven times. The next player we're going to be looking at is Jason Price. He holds winges, our oldest player, our most experienced, arguably. And 
let's have a look. He's done 14 appearances with 6 off the bench, 1 goal, 3 assists, 8 dribbles. Nothing too exceptional, to be honest. But he has done a job, I'm not going to lie. And he has been playing in probably one of his worst positions he can play in. Right mid. But he has got an average rating of 7 playing at right mid, so... Eh. He doesn't seem to scout, does he? Bit odd. And the next player is Connor Atkinson, who's probably been one of our best players this season. Playing 24 games, 1 goal, 2 assists, 3 player of the matches, 10 yellow cards, 22 dribbles, 72% pass ratio, and that is decent. I'm pretty sure he's played every one of his games at midfield. He has. Exceptional. Robbie Loughton, another player who's really turned up with 36 appearances, 3 goals, 9 assists, 3 play of the matches, 80% pass ratio. Number, yeah, he's played every play, like every role in midfield, so he has been really good, but he's starting to lose stats now because of his age, getting slower. So we'll have to look into either replacing him or giving him a chance again. But next after that is Luke Gibson. Yeah, pretty standard. He's played pretty good, to be honest, for 42 games. I think he's played every game of the season. Two goals, 13 assists, three player of the matches, one yellow. He's played really good. He's been... Probably one of the most consistent performers in the team. Next goal is... Next game, sorry. Next goal, next game. Next player is James Kirby. So this is our young target man. He's had a season to remember as well. 37 appearances, 22 goals, 13 assists. Exceptional. Played every goal from strike. And talking about a season to remember, Josh Rimmer. Insane. 7.69. So he's played 39 games, gone 44 goals. That record alone is insane. Hasn't just been scoring. 12 assists. 11 player of the matches. 43 dribbles. 52% shot ratio. 79% pass ratio, 46 tackles, 6 foot 2. Both of our strikers are over 6 foot. That's what I like. But he's getting quicker. I think this guy's going to tear it in the next division above. If he decides to sit the club. So our battle keeper, Ali. He's played 28 games and 26 goals conceded. He probably played the worst. So that's just not really talk about him. Shaquille Antoine Clark. One of my favourite centre backs in this division. He played a good game, 90 titles this season. He's sticking in those titles. He actually even popped up with the goal as well, so that's good. Uh, Steph Frost. I do prefer him at right mid, but he, um, I can't remember the other guy's name. He was kicking off, he wasn't getting a game, so I just started playing him for a bit. But as you can see, he did play 31 goals, 3 goals, 13 assists, 47 dribbles, 7.3 in average rating, 26. Decent. Six foot two. I like how much like physical presence we bring to the team. Danny Bacon, another one of my favourite players. You can I just love the fact you can play a striker as well. It's just kinda of random. It's like, nah, I don't know how to play a calm, but yep, I know how to play a striker. And let's have a look. He's got some decent stats. Again. But he has played a very good 19, 19 appearances, three games, four goals, one assist, one penalty, two play in the matches. 77% pass ratio of 5 5 titles, playing at a 7.45 average rate. Next player is Chris Thompson, a one who really should have been getting more games, but due to Rimmer and Kirby destroying the goal record, I just, he just couldn't get a run in. He only started 5 games, got 23 sub appearances with 8 goals, 1 assist, 1 penalty, 3 dribbles. I think he did his job. He would probably argue he'd want to play more, but I think he's done his job. So if we just scroll down, we can look at some other people. Liam Catmull, for one. A one who's been around the team. 35 appearances, one sub appearance. Three assists, one player of the match, three yellow cards, 27 dribbles, 6.91. I think he's done better than that, personally. Something best Catmull in the northeast. Just remember it. Adam Clough. Is he, uh, he's scored one, so he must have... Yeah, yeah, he's played nine times. Pretty decent, 7.7 .7 average rating. 
Lee Booth, one of those players I don't know if he I liked him or not. And James Razak, he actually didn't get a goal, but jo game sorry, but George Mahai did get a game. He got three sub appearances, and oh, he didn't do his worst, but he's young still, so I'll be looking to try and push a bit more youth in this series. Don't worry if anyone likes to watch youth, but that's that, guys. Thank you for sticking around for season one. Been a very good season for he's in glory. Remember to come back for season two to see us take on the division above, which is the it is the northern. I think it's the northern Premier League. I think it's called. Don't know. Is that many? No, it's that one there. Northern League Division One. This, from experience, this league is not nice. So, see how that brings, and thanks for watching, and goodbye.